Do you guys, I think Sid said you guys just go right back in the pecking order. Is that yeah, pretty I, accurate? I mean, there wasn't, uh, there wasn't any TVs on or any phones out. We all just, you know, enjoyed each other's uh, company. It's, uh, you know, obviously great memories when you win together and uh, cherish those moments. And uh, even that being said, you never get a team together at the same time. It's, life takes over and there's different things and, and other guys that are still playing. So uh, maybe one day it'll happen, but you uh, can enjoy it and reminisce about Good times that we had for that great run that we were on. So you guys, you were part of three here. So that one, given the back-to-back -back success you guys had later on, that was, the 019 kind of gets lost a little bit. Um, yeah, um, what, do you, what do you remember about it? Yeah, I mean, I was a new guy coming to the team and uh, a team that was out of playoffs, but they made some changes. They obviously had a great run the year before, so they had that taste in their mouth and determination. So to be able to. You know, kind of duplicate the success of going to the finals and win this year. That year was, uh, you know, it was special uh, in every every asset. But I think Billy said it last night. Maybe that was one of the teams that laid the foundation for, you know, how well the Penguins organization um, has been run, or, or the, the way that they, you know, kind of address every single season and, and expect to win the Stanley Cup. So, um, you know, it was a lot of you know, remembering things. But I think, yeah, maybe that was one of the teams that set the foundation for this. You know. Franchise, uh, in the of course, Billy really said that he played on that team. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know he was the biggest piece. That's what he remembers, anyways. I think there's aspects that change, and it just happens throughout the time the game's played, but. Um, it's definitely changed the last three years for, for sure. The, the youth, uh, the skill, the, the talent that's coming up just changes the way the game is maybe played at a different pace uh, than it was in the past. You see that by maybe some of the personnel changes that they've, they've gone from, away from those big defensemen who are strong to be able to keep guys away from the net and now gone with the, the speed and skill and the ability to hang on to pucks. And, Creates your chances that way, so I think it's you know changed for the better. It's a, a different game, and you have to think the game a little different than maybe they did you know, 10, 15 years ago. But I'm sure that happens at every every generation that passes. When Ray makes that trade, do you, do you think you're coming here to play with Sid? Because I mean, there was a lot, there were a lot of changes even after you got here. That, um, I, you know, I honestly didn't really, really think of that. I was kind of still in shock about being moved. Um, you know, just been given a new contract to a team that had won, and uh, expectations were high, but it was kind of the first domino that fell when they were changing a bunch of things out there. So I didn't really know. I didn't really, you know, expect anything. Um, I kind of think back to getting here, and Sid wasn't even playing yet. I was playing with Stalzy and, and TK, and um, just trying to figure out, you know, where you fit in on a team. And, and, Team kind of caught fire after we you know, added Billy and Craig Adams and uh, a couple guys were injured and guys came up from the minors and things like that. So it was just a team that maybe needed a change in the scenery and everybody kind of got better from that.